looking back and I'm riding, I'm chilling, I'm good. Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Shauna, back up in this joint with another video. Yep. Alright, so I'm doing another hair routine video and so I'm gonna be using a bit of different products than I used in the last one. Um, these are also some products that I also like using. So, alright, so the first thing, so I'm gonna start with washing my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, yeah, I wash my hair. I'm gonna shampoo it. Now, I don't shampoo it every time I wash it because I actually like co-wash it. Like, I try to do it every few days, but I try to do it no more than a week. But I like try to shampoo it like at least maybe every like, two or three weeks just to like, so I can still get try to get my scalp clean. So I use the shampoo. So this is a shampoo by Deity America. So this is like I'm using like a lot of their products. You know, I actually been using a lot of their products for years. So which you probably know if you've been watching my videos for years, you probably like see me talk about their products in the past. So. Um, this is a color extended protection shampoo, so it's like good for so it's good for color treat treated hair, which I have color treated hair, so um, I've had this shampoo for a while, um, so this is like the shampoo I've been using a lot. So yeah, so I start by like slathering this like on my scalp and stuff, and moving it through the ends, and then I need to use like a good shampoo that has like a lot of slip for to help with detangling and stuff so yeah i use this aussie shampoo miracle moist um so i use this or sometimes i might use like the herbal essence one but this is just good for like i slather like a ton of this throughout my hair to help like with detangling and then for the deep conditioner i'm using this yeah this is their deep penetrating conditioner for damaged hair this is by Dainty America guys this is like a really really good deep conditioner so I really recommend this and Dainty America like their products are pretty much like they're made with natural ingredients so if you want like a product a hair product line that's made with natural ingredients that also helps hair growth um, I would definitely recommend Dainty America I've been using their products for years pretty much I think since 2016 I think I've been using this and I've been pretty much using this deep conditioner ever since so this is like pretty much my favorite deep conditioner it's very very moisturizing this is like the most moisturizing deep this is like okay it's one of the very most moisturizing deep conditioners that I've ever used like it actually has slip like a lot of deep conditioners don't really have slip like that you know like like yeah like when I get this through my hair, like my hair is still so soft, much moisture, like I can still like detangle my hair using this deep conditioner. But I mean I still rather detangle it with like a cheaper type of conditioner. Um, but just saying like this is very like it's that moisturizing like you could when you have it in your hair you can still glide your fingers through your hair like it's so silky smooth and soft and moisturizing so Okay, and then while that's in my hair, and I usually I just like put my hair up and twist it into like a little top knot bun, and then do the, um you know do the rest of everything. I need to do like wash my body, I wash my face and everything while I'm in the shower, and then that can like really sit on top of my head and penetrate, and then plus like you know all the steam and everything, so it's like already like warm and hot in the shower, so it's gonna be sitting there, <laughs> really penetrating into my hair for like. I don't know, a good minute while I, I don't know, I'd be taking like long ass showers, like especially if I'm also washing my hair on top of the other things, like washing my body, washing my face, and sometimes I just be in the shower just like thinking about shit. <laughs> so I don't know, so especially when it's a day that I'm washing my hair and I'm like doing everything, like not just the cold washing, but shampooing. Um, conditioner and deep conditioner. Like, I'll probably be in the shower for like two hours. This is my hair soaking. Let's brush out this shower. And the first thing I do is put oil, some coconut oil mixed with a bit of olive oil. I like to put oil on my hair first right after I get out the shower. Then I'm gonna use this moisturizing, this daily moisturizing lotion by Dainty America. 
see I like put see I really like this it's kind of like a nice lightweight but very moisturizing um, leave-in lotion so I like I love putting this in my hair when I'm leaving it curly and get the ends good get all up in there So that's that. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this um, the Shea Moisture Leave-In. Uh, it's a Jamaican black castor oil conditioner. Yeah, so this stuff is like very moisturizing and this is gonna like really keep my hair moisturized. Sometimes I'll just do that the um, Dainty America leave in and that's it like just real quick especially if I'm like just getting ready to go to bed or something but uh, sometimes so it just depends on like it kind of depends too on like, how I'm going to be styling my hair and stuff because I might because I might need the extra moisture in my you know extra define because you know with the more this stuff helps um define the curls a little bit more too because it's just like yeah it's really good all right so there's a lot of times that i like to do very very last this is um some shea butter this is our shea butter it's like i don't know it's like mixed with like other oils and stuff it's a shea butter so i use a little bit of that to completely like put that on last to completely seal and everything so this will keep my hair even more moisturized like I'm really trying to retain length hair and keep my hair moisturized as possible because that's like the key to retaining length is moisture so it's just like sealing it in and this will help the moisture stay moisturized even longer especially when you know, you have like a coarser texture hair and you like to wear it out. Like I don't do like, I don't usually like to do like twists and stuff like that. I just like to but leave my hair out free and like leave it in wash and goes and stuff. So. And then if I do gel, though I'll probably do like a gel on top of this, but I'm not putting it on now. That's if I do gel. I don't do gel the time it just depends on yeah so it just depends on how I want to style my hair like if I want it to like you know stay laying down more instead of like you know poofing out to like a more of a big you know more of an afro look but if I want it to stay laying down more and I want my curls to be try to be more defined then I would do like I'll probably do a gel try to get the product on the edges so that my edges or moisturize. I don't want like frizzy, dry edges. <laughs> okay, so basically, this that's it. And then what I'm gonna do is, yeah, so I'll be back. So I'll be back tomorrow to kind of finish, I guess, styling it and show it more dry or I don't know whatever I decide to do to style it. Um, so since it's late. So when it's at night, I just kind of, well, I'll try to let it air dry a little bit since it's still kind of damp. And then I'll probably like, once it's a little bit more dry, I'm just gonna like put it into like loose buns like this. And then I just put a satin scarf on and go to bed. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day, and I had my hair in these two puffs. So I'm going to just, basically I'm just gonna style it real quick to finish off the video. So, yeah, so this is how it looks. Still good, it still feels pretty soft and moisturized. All right, so what I wanna do is, so I'll probably take, this is, uh, so this is some water. So I will probably just spritz a little bit of it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna dampen it a little bit, like not a lot, 
and put this in it. This is Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Smoothie. So it's supposed to help kind of like define the curls and it's still moisturizing and all that stuff. It's just a smoothie, like leave-in type thing. So. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this to help it like defining the curls a bit. You know, just a little bit of re-moisture, like it doesn't really need to be moisturized, but we just want like a little more something, something to get, make sure that it's moisturized and kind of like helping with defining the curls a little bit more. Okay, so I got it through a bit. I was trying not to uh, dampen it too much because I don't want it to shrink up <laughs> so much. Cause that's what I like about too when I put it in the two buns. Then you know when I have it in two buns overnight or for a while, it kind of helps stretch it a bit. Cause yeah, I don't like the shrinkage, so you know I like some length. <laughs> I like some length. So, but yeah, so I try not to dampen it too much, but dampen it enough to like just re-moisturize it a bit. And yeah, I want it to dry quicker and not shrink so much. So, but I might put it back in the two buns again for a little while, like after it kind of dries back a little bit more. So it's not like soaked, it's not too wet, but it's like a little damp. So anyway, okay, so this is the style. So now we just gotta do the edges. So I'm gonna use this Natural Edge Tamer Pomade by Daisy America. So I think this is, this is like one of their newer products. So I haven't really used it much yet. I think I used it once so far and it seems pretty good. And it's like, and it's actually like pretty soft. So I like that because I know like sometimes when you get these edge cultures, I hate when they're like super hard where you can like, you know, yeah, I hate when they're like really hard, but this one is like nice and soft almost like gel but it's like you know obviously it's like thicker or more firmer than gel like you know a lot of edge controls are but this one is not really it's not hard you can easily work with it yeah see look at that it is pretty much laying down flat it has a nice smell to it too. It like really sticks though. Like once it's like on there, it's like so. Like if you need to remold your edges, then you're gonna have to definitely add some water because it's, uh, <laughs> it's like really. Ooh, yeah, it seems to really be laying down pretty flat, like. It's laying down pretty good. It really sticks those edges. <laughs> those edges are like sticking down. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're really sticking down. Like, I can't keep messing with them and stuff because they're like, they're kind of like stuck now. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but it's like, you gotta know, uh, you gotta know exactly how you're trying to shape them, like, right away. <laughs> but yeah, I had to pull just a slight more hair out for my baby hairs on the top so <laughs> you like kind of redo them a little bit but yeah if you don't use that much water like it's sticking and <laughs> this edge control like sticks good just saying all right i think that's a little bit better i think <laughs> it looks a little bit more like what I like. Like sometimes I don't like, I, I don't mind when the very edges kind of curl up a little bit because it kind of makes it seem a little more natural. But anyway, all right. Okay, so that's basically the finished look, guys. So what I'm going to do, because I'm still trying to film like other videos right now, so but usually like what I do, so as it dries, it will probably I'll probably like have it like pooped out even more. Like mainly like, you know, in the ends, like I'll probably like kind of poof it out, fluff it out a little bit more. So it'll be like a slight might be slightly more frizzier. 
And my hair is growing, guys, okay? So, you know, between like, I'm telling you, like, moisture, because especially when you have curly, coarse hair, moisture is key for retain retaining length. And for me, like, that's been my issue. Like, usually, my hair, probably the longest I usually don't have a problem getting my hair to is about here. Like, almost. I guess like past the armpit length, kind of like almost blue blend, you know, like when it's straight, you know, stretch completely straight and come down. So, geez, like I'm burping. <laughs> It'll come down past like my armpits, like just like kind of like above the boob, maybe like just about the middle of the boob sometimes, like, but yeah. So, but. For me, the issue is retaining length because I know that for a fact that my hair is still constantly growing because I dye my hair and obviously like I can tell like, you know, how much is growing out and I can see. So that's like one of the things or benefits, I guess, of dyeing your hair is that you're able to easily tell how much new growth you have. You know, if it, that's if you're not constantly retouching it though, but you can see you definitely are able to tell how fast it's growing. So obviously, like, you can see, um, you know, I dyed my hair back, what? I dyed it in April, when I did the split dye. So, and, and this bottom part was dyed from the roots. And you can see it's like, how much of the, my natural hair color is back out right here. So yeah, it's growing. But the thing is, for me, it's length retention because if it's always staying at this same length, and I would like to grow my hair further down, so like waist length, like past my belly button, but you need to be able to retain length. And I think the key to that is moisture. So it's like I try to keep it moisture, moisturized, but like these products can help, like, but you have to like use it often. So like the deep conditioner, like that shit is that. <laughs> that deep conditioner is very moisturizing, okay? So if you're using it regularly, and I know of course like dyeing and bleaching your hair, on top of that, then yeah, you're definitely gonna need moisture to keep the ends strong from getting too dry. So yeah, but anyways, I think my hair is growing, guys. Like, I think it's gotten longer. It's like kind of coming down past my boobs. Like, I don't know if you can see it. What? It's down to here. So that's like almost like, I think we're getting closer to our goal. Finally. But anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot there will be links in the description for the hair products I used. Okay, guys, so like, I mean, I have um, links to, like the other products that I've used, but the Day to America, um, I have a link for their website where you can get their products. So check that out in the description, okay? And you can follow them on Instagram. They're on like, they're on all social media, so. Anyways, I'll link their website, so check that out. And give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Peace.